Thanks, sir. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I would like to welcome you to the uh, launching of uh, Step by Step's sixth campaign, SOS 4000. My name is uh, George Marcello, and I am the uh, CEO and founder of Step by Step. This morning, we have two important guests. I have the honor of introducing uh, to uh, my right, Mr. Greg Davis, and to my left, uh, Constable uh, uh, Tubadi. We will, uh, well, we, we're going to have to skip the video. It won't work. And, uh, but we're going to get a chance to hear from uh, both our uh, guests uh, after uh, we finish with the uh, introduction of uh, this campaign and, and a brief uh, tour on the website. Um, in case you're not familiar with Step by Step or myself, uh, allow me to give you a brief description. In 1995, with uh, days in my uh, life, I needed a life-saving liver transplant. Five of us were saved from one person that day. We were fortunate because many on, on our floor had died waiting. I found out that Canada had the lowest rate of organ donations in the world. I became obsessed to change this. And in the most profound and grateful way to the donor family, I walked the first of four million steps or 15,000 kilometers across Canada and parts of Europe. During these campaigns, we at Step by Step also wanted to educate the public about organ donations to address this shortage. Publicity and awareness was a key factor. We created over 4,000 media and, and reached many, many government officials. At first, we inspired Premier Harris to allocate $120 million to this issue, and then Prime Minister Chrétien to the tune of $20 million. I also had the opportunity to have an audience with Pope John Paul II, His Holiness, and he encouraged the entire world to become organ donors. We conducted over 2,000 consultations with people from all walks of life and had gathered very important information. The issues and solutions for our organ crisis became clear. We often had to challenge governments to rise up to the occasion. Organ donation has lately received much more attention, and, and, and it's going in a, in a better direction. But in 1997, when we first started, nobody was talking about this issue. We were even told not to talk to kids about this. I'm happy to say that MPP, da David uh, Brandt, has, or David Levesque, sorry, has brought an educational organ bill forward. Throughout our 10-year history, thousands of members of Step by Step has shed the light on organ donations and brought it to the forefront. While I was on the road walking, I was living on a prayer every day. I did not know where my next meal was coming from or where I would be sleeping. We never had the luxury of having a budget. During these hardships, we know that there is a, a lot more work to do in this area and, and to bring a lot more awareness for organ donations. So that's why we're introducing our uh, sixth campaign, SOS. 4,000. It's actually got a dual purpose. Uh, one, uh, we're, we're going to be, be bringing another national high-profile campaign across the country, but we're also going to be giving an opportunity for thousands and thousands of kids across the country to get involved. Um, our new campaign, SOS 4,000, was conceived shortly after Christopher's wish. It was actually on May 24, 2005, that I was announcing this at a press conference uh, right here in this room that we were going to launch SOS 4000. Our first step when I made that announcement was to go to Europe so that we could visit five countries there and bring back information uh, that we gathered from these countries 
And these countries were leading the world in organ donations. This was called the European Tour. During my stay in Paris, I fell sick and I needed another transplant. I was extremely fortunate to receive one twice. Back in, in August 9, 2005, 13 days after my operation, I held another press conference in this room and I wanted to pick up where I left off. I was trying to get support from the government and had been, had been turned down every time. In the past 10 years, I have lived on a prayer day by day and we got through each day okay. In this campaign, SOS 4000, we will do, we will do it the same way, uh, with faith and determination. On October the 1st, Christopher will bring the famous torch of life to the first student in St. John's, Newfoundland. That student will carry the torch across Canada and pass it to a waiting student that will be waiting in Gander. The torch will get relayed through hundreds and hundreds of hands across Canada. Each student will become a torch champion in their respective community. The youth are going to champion this issue once and for all. And we will strive to win a gold this time and get Canada to the top instead of the bottom where we've been for quite a while now. This is a unique campaign because it is giving thousands of students an opportunity to do something they probably will remember the rest of their lives. Now, I would like to take you on a tour uh, to the, uh, on our website that we've created because the website's gonna be a big part of uh, our uh, tools in, in completing this campaign. Uh, so are we ready to go at the website, Paulo?